from Mark Hatmaker here, assisting me today, Ron Hubbard. Thank you, Ron. Uh, we, uh, uh, you, it's, this is something that you're going to see on ASP Raw 203. Uh, we're going to show you how to do a lazy sleeper off of a side position so it burst out of your uh, uh, top wrist lock. Uh, and, you know, this and buku more candy in Raw 2. Matter of fact, we just shot it and it's got lots of, lots of, maybe this might be the, the nicest thing on there, right? All right, so we're going to take an old idea, an idea that everybody knows is what you had to do with sleeper, but we're going to do it from what may be an unusual position. Okay, I'm not saying we're, this is a world beater, world changing thing, but it, it does let you know, go, yeah, is that there all the time? It's there a whole lot. It's pretty nice, okay? So let's have a run on his back, head here, and feet here. So what we're going to have here, let's write you down a little bit more. There we go. I said, it, and don't pay I'm doing all this lazy right now to get to this piece of candy, all right? So we were doing this top wrist lock, and I was hanging on tight, and he burst the arm away. Oh, no, I what I do now. Of course, there's lots of things that we're going to do now. But what we're going to do in this particular circumstance, so we're assuming when he does his burst away, I want to keep this arm on the head side of my neck meaning I don't want it to come to this side. So I'm not looking for him to burst away and then hook around the neck this way. If he does, no sweat. All right, we got other things to do. But that's not the chain, that's not the, ta uh, uh, the tactic we're showing now. And if one goes, no, I would do right now, I want you to have a look at the, uh, the blog and the article, the, 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 the news other thing, they're talking about the uh, uh, surface mining and the amber problem. We'll be on the same page about, yeah, but what if? Right, we're talking about what if the thing we're doing right now is what we're doing right now, right? Not down the line. All right, so here we hooked up, he burst away. I want to keep that arm. And to keep that arm, I, and so I choose what side of my head it goes to by taking my head to the proper side, meaning my head goes down, and then I hug it back with both arms. We see that? Just kind of cross it up and bring it in. I don't try and do it with one. So again, let's take a look at that. I'm here, he burst, I go to it, and I bring it right back. So my head goes to it to bring it where I need it to go. All right, all right. Now, once I've got it where I need to go, I will retain with the uh, hip side arm, in this case, the left arm. Once I have that, I'm going to take the head side arm and underhook his head. Once I have that underhook, I'm still trying to reach, I've got my head up right now talking, but I would be pinching this arm tight with my ear to my shoulder, tight like this. And once I've done that, I'm looking to do connection with the bicep, bring this hand across to hook his face a little bit, and there you go, standard sleeper mechanics without having to throw hooks in, take weight off, really adjust my top body position. I'm just following what he did. So again, super slow. He burst, go, bring this back, hook, hook, sleeper position, cook his face. Some people do it from here. I don't like it. I like to cook people's faces a little bit. You get long, I think, Ron, you got long arms. I'm saying, you know, cover up the nose, cover up the mouth, anything. Do anything more than that. That's just the first step of the graphic portion on uh, two or three. It's the nicest thing. What comes after that? It's really, it's really me. I almost said a bad word. We're swearing a lot today, aren't we? Anyway, hope you have fun uh, taking a play with that one and uh, to have a look at, at Raw two or three here. No, I'm not your dad. Do what you want. To. <laughs>